What is up YouTube? NitroKid98 back with another video today and today I'm going to be answering a lot of questions and putting a lot of worries to rest in basically one statement. The SRT4 is not going nowhere. Um, from the time that I made the video about building that Eclipse back into a drag car, a lot of people I guess assumed that I was going to be selling or getting rid of the SRT4 in order to do so. That couldn't be further from the truth. This car is not going nowhere. I love this thing to death. Um, as for the plans for it, they have changed slightly. And the future plans that I have for it at this moment honestly are a little uncertain. Um, I, I do want to still build the crap out of this, but at this time I really want to get the white one back on the drag strip. Um, uh, it's just something that I, I absolutely enjoy doing is racing, um, drag racing. I love it. A lot of people say it's just a straight line, um, just flooring your car. Where's the fun in that? Get out there and do it one time and, and you'll understand. Trust me. And then you'll come back and say, thank you Nitro Kid 98 I had a blast. So anyway, as for the plans for this, they actually are going pretty well because the one car that I was getting rid of in order to make this thing a, a, a monster again did sell yesterday. I'm not going to state what I sold it for, but I definitely got a very reasonable price for the Miata and I'm very happy with it. I actually made money off the car, which I did not see happening. Um, so yesterday I ordered the coilovers, which I did not go with the name brand coilover. I was originally going to go with Megan. I sold the Megans that were on it, um, basically because they were, it had been sitting for a while. And at that time I was full blown in the Miata wanting to do it. I hadn't came to my senses yet. Uh, they were starting to get some rust and stuff on them. So I went ahead and sold them to somebody that could actually utilize them before I let them ruin. Now the coilovers that I went with are Rev9. Um, I have been seeing Rev9 with their name on a lot of really nice products. I am possibly going to run one of their turbos. It's between them and CX Racing. I don't know what's going on this um, until we actually get the money to put real good name brand shit on it. Like Precision or Turbonetics or something. I know a lot of people will say those turbos ain't that much more expensive. But yeah, they can be if you want to go after something really good. That and I want to build one more eBay turbo kit before I'm done just to see if I can have the same luck twice and prove to y'all those kits are not bad. Um, they are out there bad ones. So, but anyway, I got the Rev9 coilovers uh, on the way. The reason I went with Rev9 is for the price. They were like $450. They were the cheapest coiler I could find where you can actually change the dampening, which is pretty much the uh, stiffness of the ride. And I really wanted that control on this um, so I can stiffen and loosen the rear end up as needed um, for tracks to make sure I help with traction. And um, I can I like the coilover on a drag car for the reason it helps me, one, clear the front uh, drag slits because they're pretty big. And two, I can give it the bulldog that it needs, basically with the front down and the rear end up. And I know a lot of people think that's for real drive only. Not necessarily. That helps put all the weight on the front end so I can help dig those slicks into that glue on the track and I can get the traction. It worked really well with Busted. It took a couple passes out with these cars to actually find where I needed to tie, dial that in. We finally found them happy with it. And that's why I'm going coilovers. Also ordered all the slicks, the skinnies for the back, the fatties for the front, and the wheels that the slicks will be going on. And I am in the process of ordering absolutely everything we need to get the engine um, freshly rebuilt, minus cams and some other things. Um, but yeah, but anyways, guys, this thing's not going nowhere. Don't worry about it. There will be a lot of neon content coming up. It's going to be just a little bit before I start putting it back up. I'm trying to keep my focus on that thing right now and get what I need to at least get it halfway there so I know I can make it next season. I really want to make it to the DSM shootout. I say every year I'm going and I never do it. I really want to go there. But when I go there this time, well, not this time, I've never been, but when I do make it there, I want to be taking the world's fastest stop block 420A with me. Um, but like I say, until I really get some funds rolling in, um, it's going to kind of be either more one or the other. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping YouTube eventually picks up so I can actually do stuff like Jim Jim and them um, and, and actually really start throwing some heavy mods at it and some name brands and stuff and then we will go from there but anyways guys this has been the video i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up um and there's a button either here or here that says subscribe if you want to see either one of these cars get like completely modded all the hell and back you're going to want to hit that it may take a while for this one but i mean it's a fucking srt4 dude it's already balls out but um this one right here is going to be nasty very soon um, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you got a comment drop it in the comment section below thanks for watching guys night you're kidding